welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. It's a beautiful day here at Temple Heights on the coast of Maine. And if you're looking for a great place to come in July or August, this is the place you got to visit. It's right on Penobscot Bay. So it's Temple Heights Spiritualist Camp. And speaking of August, there's a lot of wonderful aspects. And here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Mercury opposes Pluto on August 1st. Scorpio, Mercury in your ninth house of understanding, <laughs> opposes Pluto in your third house of the mind and communications. You think you have a good handle on what motivates the people around you. Now, sometimes it's greed and fear, and sometimes it may be hope and belief. You must make a real effort to understand and value the belief systems of other people. This will give you a great insight on how to create a more balanced and successful environment. Mars squares Jupiter on August 4th. Scorpio, a spike of energy occurs when Mars in your sixth house of routine squares Jupiter in your third house of intellect. Be cautious and stay aware of what is happening around you, and particularly with what you say. Mars square to Jupiter can be challenging and suggests that sharp words can cause problems. New ideas will be coming at you, but they must be tested. If they prove helpful, assimilate them into your knowledge base. Then they can be useful. Mars squares Pluto on August 13th. Scorpio, Mars in the sixth house of daily routine stimulates your physical and your nervous energy. You'll need to approach work projects in an efficient manner. This may help you overcome obstacles. You may also start a diet and go to the gym. You'll feel energized and successful. But don't be pushy because of square to push Pluto, in your third house of intellect, <laughs> intensifies your need to open your mind and use it to understand and communicate new ideas. You must harness the power of your mind to analyze and understand new information without becoming confused or pushy. <laughs> Madness is confusion. Clarity may be the gift of this energy. Uranus goes retrograde on August 15th. Scorpio, wild and wonderful Uranus turns retrograde in your seventh house of relationships and ask you to re review any changes that you've made in the most important area of your life, relationships. <laughs> you may find change challenging, but you need to understand that independence does not necessarily mean loneliness. It can actually bring new adventure, new people, and new excitement into your life. Venus trines Neptune on August 27th. Scorpio, Neptune in your fifth house suggests this is an excellent time to begin a new creative approach to life. You feel sensations that most people overlook, but that can empower your genius. So use your inspiration in a productive manner. Be careful with your sensuality, though, in romantic situations. Pleasure can become addictive on many levels, and it can steal your energy. Now, Neptune's bonus trying to Venus in your ninth house of the higher mind can help you use the power of your visualization to create a new and better reality. Just remember to be compassionate with yourself and others. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, 
you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And if you'd like to get more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the readings page. And there you'll find a way to order a transit chart or get a private reading that'll be based on your private information and personal to you. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they are free. And please subscribe. Thank you.